Dr. Rip with Genetics A, Part 1, Genetic Engineering. Be able to identify methods used to modify genes. Please watch the YouTube on glowing mice. It's very interesting. Number two, genetic engineering is used to alter genetic instructions in an organism to produce a more desirable trait or protein. For example, to make insulin. How do we do this? Through gene splicing. That's a process that uses enzymes to splice or cut DNA and then recombine with DNA of another organism. Step one, we cut the desired segment of DNA from a human cell. Let's say we have the human insulin gene because insulin is needed by diabetics. Step two, obtain a plasmid, which is a circular segment of bacterial DNA and remove a section of that DNA. Three, we insert the human DNA into the bacterial circular plasmid and reform a closed loop. Step four, we combine the DNA loop and insert it into a bacterial cell. And finally, the new bacterial cell will rapidly produce the desired product. Bacteria are used because they reproduce quickly and asexually, meaning the gene being produced is identical to the one you inserted. Here are some of the steps. Here's a bacterial plasmid, a circular piece of DNA. You should watch the YouTube also. The plasmid is opened up. Previously, somebody isolated the human insulin gene. They took that and combined it into this bacterial circular DNA and then formed it back up into a closed loop. They then take that loop and put it into a bacteria, and now the bacteria can start producing human insulin. Here's a case with human uh, growth hormone. The human growth hormone gene was isolated. The bacterial cell, piece of the plasmid was opened up. The human growth hormone was put in. It's put into a bacteria. And by the process of fermentation, that bacteria now outputs growth hormone, which can be given to people who might be short in stature to give them the normal proper height of mature adults.